A recent leaked information bit about Halo Infinite comes out talking about the campaign coming out in chapters, spin-off titles, multiplayer coming out with different versions of it, a redefined invasion, and Battle Royale coming out in 2021. So let's jump into it and play around with some leaked information. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into it. But first, I need to tell you guys, this is leaked information I just found on Twitter. And you know, it does kind of line up with a few things we've seen, but obviously you need to take this with a grain of salt. But hey man, it's been pretty low key when it comes to Halo news besides the coding stuff, but we already covered that a couple times on this channel, guys. So if you want to see those videos, check out the channel here, guys, for some previous content. Right now, there isn't much talking about right now. So let's talk about some potential leaks and just kind of play around with the ideas and see what could happen. Because we've seen this kind of come up previously by 343 for job postings and from the community as well. So let's get right into it. So the Twitter user that goes by the name IdleSloth84 recently posted up a long text of just a few points that were going to be mentioned about Halo Infinite. Obviously, grain of salt. He even puts hashtag grain of salt in this as well. So it's more kind of like a video just talk about the ideas of this kind of thing. Uh, Hidden Experience did mention this in a retweet, sourcing it, saying, bruh, trust me. So again, this is not sourced information, but again, I think it's just kind of fun, speculative stuff to talk about when it comes to Halo Infinite, as uh, we're kind of waiting for more stuff to come out, guys. Uh, we do have the rumored XO20 event coming out, hopefully on November 9th, rumored to be some uh, Halo Infinite gameplay shown there. So we'll definitely will be breaking that down on this channel if that does happen. Let's get right into this leaked information here. So they mentioned here first, Halo Infinite is not going to be only a spiritual reboot of Halo, as a whole, it's a spiritual sequel to the Master Chief Collection and will function very similarly. The current plan of the 2020 decade of Halo is to continue the mainline story through the series of feature length campaigns that will be published over time, similar to Halo Reach through Halo 4 have been and are being published on the MCC on PC in increments. There are currently Plans for four chapters, including Infinite's launch campaign to be added in over a decade, including two spin-off games that are currently in the planning stages. And we phrase this as like a spiritual reboot or but as like a sequel to the MCC. I mean, kind of. I mean, we do have like a season pass mod, which is also has been rumored as well, which I think is very likely with Halo Infinite to have a season pass kind of model. Like you see a lot of uh, things transferring over there, uh, customized weapon skins and, and armor variations and things like that, that we have been seeing with MCC. I think that's what he means by like spiritual like reboot or sequel to the MCC. Uh, though I don't believe it would be like multiple games all mixed together into one. Though I do think that would be a really awesome idea to have like a platform for Halo, which they have mentioned previously by Halo Infinite, and having it, all your Halo games be in Halo Infinite, and then you can select and choose what parts of Halo Infinite you want to play. And I mentioned about how Halo Reach through Halo 4 is being released on MCC and seeing something similar with Halo Infinite when it comes to the campaign, I could totally believe that. When they said this is going to be a Halo for the next 10 years, is Halo Infinite. To me, that makes me wonder, okay, how are they going to implement more story content? Because that's definitely something people are going to want. Is it going to be a bi-yearly thing? Is it going to be a yearly thing when it comes to like big story events happening? Kind of like with Destiny 2 right now, where basically at the end of every year, we get a big content update with like changes a lot of systems, comes with a brand new story, new content and things like that. I can imagine something very similar with Halo Infinite because they put such a big emphasis on the slip space engine to be able to create content for Halo. I could totally see chapters for the campaign totally happening. This makes me also worry though that they rely too much on the chapter system and they wait to like the end of the year to actually finish out a story. Uh, I really hope that the initial launch campaign actually has like a beginning, middle, and end when it comes to a story arc and maybe what could lead to something else. But you need to have some kind of form of completion, I think, with Halo Infinite's initial campaign release. Now they mentioned two spin-off games, which actually is 
in the works guys like they're definitely planning to do spin-off games i did make a video on this previously talking about spin-off games being a thing for halo the job posting was for a senior production person here and basically in the, the stating the article saying that 343 industries is looking for a senior producer to work with our core service team to help develop a new project in the Halo universe. And this was posted a while ago, back on June 3rd of 2020. So this is before we even saw anything about Halo Infinite. Though this is very common to start thinking about your next game before your first game you're working on right now is even released. They kind of started doing that with Halo Infinite uh, back in Halo 5. As soon as Halo 5 was released, they started thinking, okay, what's gonna be the next Halo game? And that's why it's been taking so long because they had a plan they reworked that plan and now they're making Halo Infinite. And I think the big emphasis on the slip space engine as well kind of showcases that like they've been trying to make an engine that was more conducive to creating content because the previous one, not so much. It was kind of a pain really. This one's much more easier to work with, which I could totally see more games being created, more content being created for us to play around with and potentially make videos on. Now this leaked information post goes on to say this as well. Along with each additional chapter through the 20s, a refined multiplayer experience will be updated as well as the slip space engine is upgraded throughout the decade. This will also work similar to the MCC with how there are several different versions of Halo's multiplayer inside the game itself. As for the launch, there is no defined date planned, but 343 is aiming for a window for March through June for a release. Now this one I feel a bit iffy on because I think you need to have like your vision of what you want Halo Infinite to be for the multiplayer side of things and stick with that. Like if kind of like how Halo 5 definitely had its vision, I think they did a good job of accomplishing it. It certainly needs some tweaks and if they were able to tweak it properly and they could have continued on with Halo 5's multiplayer and I think it actually would have been rather successful over time. Just that 343 was slow to change and update the game to where it needed to be. And obviously there is a big one for classic Halo and there's also a big one for more modern Halo. So maybe there's gonna be a way to have multiple types of multiplayers within the game and maybe depending on which one it has more action and more population in it they'll probably move in that direction and kind of tailor the multiplayer to eventually come to like this you know winding road that kind of come to this crossroads of a meld between the two generations of halo but for right now we're kind of split and also halo players don't exactly know what we want and maybe even 343 doesn't exactly know what halo players want either because both versions of halo are good it's just that they're so drastically different, it's hard to meld them together. As for the release date, that does seem about right for like a March to June kind of release date. Uh, if it was gonna release in the first half of the year, it probably would be in June or in March or in April. If it's not doing that, that's gonna be releasing in probably November. Though, so, uh, recent leak news did kind of also mention about how the release date might be coming around in March and we'll get like a beta kind of like in early spring and the game will come out in late spring. Now this next section is going to be quite interesting, really perks my interest when it comes to this game. This is talking about multiplayer new game modes coming back into Halo. Like I said, new game modes coming back. It's not really new, but the way they mention it is new here saying the main multiplayer mode that 343 is working on at the moment is a redefined invasion game mode with it. They are aiming for a battlefield styled experience in terms of scale and destruction with a 45 versus 45 UNSC versus banished play style. Now I know a lot of you guys who love your large game modes, I do as well. You want like a bigger BTB is kind of what I've been hearing for the most part. A lot of people like Warzone as well. Warzone is pretty fun as well, but I do like my BTB a little bit more. Now mixing in a little bit of battlefield in there does get my interest because I was also a huge battlefield fan. Battlefield 3 through 4, absolutely loved, played over a thousand hours of both those games combined. So, and I even focused on making YouTube videos on that channel for a while there. Now, saying on scale and destruction to be similar to Battlefield, but imagine if they had class based systems like in Battlefield. That would be really interesting. Our big friend on the channel, guys, Pixel Flare, actually previously made like a class based system that could work for Halo. And here's some of the examples. And I originally mocked these up for like a Halo Battle Royale with. Uh, different kind of classes, but I think you can also transfer these over to what, like a battlefield style game would be. Same like for here for like tier one would be your scout class, right? With the ODST or a Jackal, depending if you're Covenant 
or human, you know? ODST is a, has a very strong tactical tools with average stats. Speckles are super agile, but very squishy. And you can kind of see this really awesome UI they threw together as well with this post. Uh, you can see like shields, health, agility, melee, capacity, hitbox, with different abilities like visors, biofoam injections, and like Oni Intel. They probably get better surveillance and things, your primary weapon, your XP classes, your totals and things like that. Uh, same thing with the Jackal as well with the different variations in shields and health and stuff like that. Different starting weapons, different abilities, and things like that. Here's another one with the Spartan. You obviously you get improved stats, better weapons, and different kind of abilities, but you're feeling like, you know, like a true Spartan. And then on the other hand, play as an elite for the other side of the things and saying that they're kind of a little bit more stealthy better in close quarters kind of situation where maybe like Spartan's better at long range a bit more tanky kind of thing which is pretty interesting as well that would be a kind of a cool addition to the game and it also right here would be like your tier three support classes with either a playable brute as you can see as you can imagine how a brute would play in Halo would be pretty, you know, pretty tanky, probably you'd use, use more brute force kind of situations. And then you also have like what would be a knight that could also have their own ability as, as well. So something like this would be super awesome. Could this work in Halo? I think so. Uh, that would be really freaking awesome. And, uh, you know, I do love Battlefield and I love Halo being able to combine the two together. I think it would be great. So again, grain of salt guys, but I do love Invasion. I think they might be kind of renaming it in BTB as Invasion. I wouldn't expect like the Invasion game mode. But even then, that still would be pretty awesome because I love Invasion and Reach as well. And lastly here, guys, we're talking about Battle Royale. Yes, I know. Battle Royale and Halo. Everyone loves to talk about it. Uh, I just honestly think that 343 would be missing a huge opportunity by not putting the Battle Royale in Halo, but I think it'd be best to not have it at launch. And they mentioned that here in this post saying, later in 2021, there are also plans to release a Battle Royale styled game mode for free to set on Zeta Halo. 343 has wanted to make this BR unlike any to come before, and there are some big, and I mean big plans for this. Like I said, there's no mode that 343 could make, even if this invasion battlefield mode is actually happening, it still wouldn't generate as much buzz as a Halo Battle Royale right now. That's just the market that we're in right now. That's the news cycle that we're in right now. That's just kind of how it is. I think ultimately the best way to, if you're gonna implement a Battle Royale in Halo is to release your standard Halo game. Release that and then maybe like six months down the road, or something like that, then you release the Battle Royale. I know a lot of people are so worried about the Battle Royale taking too much emphasis away from 343 when it comes to development time on the things that they really want. And I totally understand that concern. And I think maybe just releasing the vanilla game and then adding the Battle Royale later, like they did with Warzone for Call of Duty, I think that would be the best move to make if you're gonna be putting a BR in Halo. Also, it would definitely bring in a spike of new players, especially with it being free to play. And with how big the campaign level of Zeta Halo is planning to be, that could totally just be like the Battle Royale map of just using the campaign map. That would totally make sense. The sandbox is there, the enemy types are there, the weapons are there and everything. You just need to create the map and randomize some spawns and you got a solid Battle Royale. Obviously, I think there's a lot more Halo could do with that mode to make it much more special, but we just have to wait and see. There's a million ways you can go about doing that. So again, guys, grain of salt. Could this actually be real? Possibly. I think with a lot of these leaks, you gotta take it more as like the concept of the ideas and not the exact details. I don't really think that like necessarily it's gonna be like Battlefield styled for 45 versus 45, but you could have invasion coming back or some large scale PVP kind of mode. That would be pretty freaking awesome. That would be really exciting, but we'll just have to wait and know more about it. We do have the XO 2020 event rumored to be coming out on November 9th with some rumors of Halo Infinite gameplay coming out on that. So we definitely will know about more about the game before the end of this year, guys. So if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you miss any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I link to news, all my news and informational videos. We've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.